Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Now, a lot of you know that I love my Richter chisels. These are amazing chisels and they are almost perfect, but not quite. Today we're gonna fix that. I love my Nerex Richter chisels. They are just amazing. They're the best bang for the buck in my book. And if you wanna go take a look at, look at the test I did a while ago, that's the reason why I went out and bought a full set of them myself. I also love these handles. This is just about the right shape and feel, length and balance. I really like that, except for one thing. I don't like the smooth round surface. I don't want something that just came off of a lathe. I want something that has a little bit of texture to it. The other problem is with the smaller ones. They roll on the bench and uh, that might be a problem sometime when they, oops fall off the bench. For the bigger ones, it's not a problem because the chisel itself is big enough, it, it can't roll. But for these little ones, uh, that can be an issue. Personally, I love the feel of an octagonal handle. It just balances itself so it doesn't roll and it feels good. It's got those ridges that just, it grips in your hand very, very nicely. And even on the really nice Zen Wu chisels that I absolutely love, they're also act octagonal. Now, if only I could get these with the same shape, but an octagonal handle. Kind of like a London pattern, but not as clunky. I want something that's a little bit more refined like this shape, just with octagonal sides, a little bit. <laughs> and if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I have talked about making this modification for years, but I just haven't brought myself to do it. So today I'm gonna take the dive and, and see what it takes to actually do a little bit on this. Let's have some fun and experiment. I'm gonna start by putting it level in the vise. I want this to be level with the top here and then just clamp it down. And of course, grab a plane and one, two, three, four, five. And there we have one flat face on this. Now the nice thing about an octagon is it's a square with the corners knocked off. So I'm gonna turn this, turn it 90 degrees and do one on this face. So clamp it with that flat face at 90 degrees and then 17 strokes. Then since this is my first side, I'm gonna rotate it 180 so that this is my other side. And that looks about right. I'm just kind of rotating it and making sure the sides look about the same size. There's about 17 strokes on that one. Then for the last one, we can rotate it and now we have two flat sides we can clamp between and do the last side of the square. Now we have a square shape on here where all these sides are very close to the same. They don't have to be perfect, just close. So now we need to put them at 45 degrees and do the other one. I'm gonna look at them from above, make sure that both those angles are right about the same. Also, I find if I get down and eyeball it this way, I can see its rotation and get it really close to being just about precise, just to there. Yeah, that looks good. Now I've got another flat side. I can rotate and put it flat to the vise. That should cut this up vertical. I can always get down and check and see how close we are. Then rotate it again. And one more side. Oh, okay, I like that. That's feeling good right there. And I'm liking that. Those are getting really close, but the problem is it still rolls because it's rolling on this edge over here. So I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. And I'm gonna do this area here but with a spoke shave. Rotate plane, rotate plane. Just try and make it match the one beside it. Like that. And now I realize it's actually rolling on this ring up here. Nothing's touching back here. So let's do a little bit on those corners. These ones are only taking about two tiny passes each. Just to nick those edges. Rotate until this one's up again. Just making them all about the same size. Now it's not gonna be perfect because it's still small but it stops a little bit faster. That's what I'm looking for. There's a higher chance it's not gonna roll. Now I'm gonna spend some time and scrape off the poly coating on there and make these just feel a little bit more real so I can actually get some contact with the wood. After scraping, I hit them with a really, really fine sandpaper. This will work some dust into the pores but it will also tell me where my scraping needs to go back and clean up a little bit. Boiled linseed oil and paste wax. Just let it soak on as much as it wants. I'll let it sit for about 10 minutes or so, and if it starts absorbing more, I'll come back and add more on. Just let it soak up as much as it likes. After about 10 minutes, we'll come back and wipe off the excess. Then we'll let it sit for about 10 more, 15 minutes or so before I apply the paste wax. 
I'm going to use my own homemade paste wax, which I have a video showing how to make it if you don't want to buy it. Liberally coat it on, build it up nice and thick, fill up all the grain with wax, rub it in multiple directions, and just load it up with wax. Then we'll let that sit for an hour, maybe overnight. About two hours later, it's a little bit harder, starting to get a little tacky, so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off. Sometimes I'll just let it sit all the way overnight, and sometimes I'll do it a little bit quicker if I get too impatient. And I'm just going to polish off the excess, and that gives me the handle I want. That's beautiful. Not massively clunky like the London pattern. A little more sleek, but still octagonal. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I like that. That, that's what I want. That is the perfect handle right there. The more you work with tools, the more you find just those little things that can make it that much better. It's about the experience of the tool. It's not about making things in the shop. It's not about production and getting things done. The reason we're in the shop is to have some fun, experiment and play around and enjoy the time. It's a hobby. And if you can make things just a little more fun, something that just feels good, something that puts a smile on your face, uh, that can make a big difference. Does it make woodworking better? No. Do I do things faster? No. Is this going to make me have higher, is this going to give me a higher quality of my woodworking? No. But it is going to put a smile on my face every time. And that's the reason I'm in the shop. And honestly, I, I love that. Uh, now that I have one like this, uh, the rest of them are going to happen here pretty quickly. This one took me about 10 minutes or so to do, so I've got about another hour in the shop to do the rest of them. And uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. So if you can't tell, I am overly pleased with this. I mean, it took a really, really good chisel, one that's really close, and just made it exactly what I want. Now, is this what everyone's going to want? No. Uh, personally, the London pattern for me is very, very close. It's just big and clunky, and I want something to be a little bit more sleek. I like the rounded edges, and I like not having the button on top, but I like having that thinner, octagonal feel, and I am I'm, I'm loving this. This is, this is exactly what I want. And I got rid of the... Uh, film finish on the outside. So am I saying everyone should go out there and do this with the chisels? No, I'm just saying find something in the shop that annoys you a little bit and have some fun detailing it to fit you. Is this handle going to fit everyone? No. This is perfect for me. It's probably not perfect for you because everyone has different things that they like. But this has made me very, very happy. Uh, so I'm looking forward to doing the rest of these. Now, I'm sure lots of people have questions, thoughts, ideas, or snide remarks, things that I did wrong. Please let me know. I do learn a lot from that and I love reading those comments. Thank you. That really helps me out and really helps out the channel because anytime you put a comment, like, share, subscribe, you're helping us out. Or you could jump in and join those really cool people who just put comment down below. Down below. Or whatever thing you want to say. Some people have interesting ways of saying it and it's always kind of fun. Thank you. Or you could go even farther. All those names over there are patrons on Patreon. And really, it means more than I can say to the people joining over there. Thank you. You guys are the ones who keep the lights on and keep us going, and thank you for that. I do have special perks for both patrons and members, people who have clicked the join button down below. If you'd like to find out more about that, you know what to do. I think that'll do it for now, and until next time, have a wonderful day. You make me so happy. Some people will say hexagons are the best of gons, but they haven't felt an octagonal handle. Ooh la la, make me so smiley.